everybody. Welcome back to Sarah J. Awesome. So today I'm going to be explaining how I charge my Tesla Model 3. I've gotten so many questions from you guys on how I charge my car, how often I use the supercharger, what's good battery health, all those things, how much it's costing me to drive this car, is it actually better than a gas car? So I'm going to answer all those questions today. Uh, it is disgusting outside. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring down rain again while I'm filming this. <sighs> it's been miserable and I couldn't make a video last week because work has been insane. I am completely exhausted. Um, so let's get right into this. So basically I charge my car in my driveway. I did put an outlet in just for the car. I used to have an electric clothes dryer, which took 240 volts on a 30 amp breaker, which is perfect for my Tesla. Now, before I bought my Tesla, we actually got a natural gas dryer. So I just had a 240 volt 30 amp outlet sitting behind my clothes dryer that I wasn't even using. I originally was like, oh, I'll just pull the car in the garage and charge it in there. I do not want to be dealing with backing out of my driveway or out of my garage every morning at like 4.30 in the morning when I'm half asleep. I'm going to run into the pillar. Like, it ain't going to happen, okay? Um, I have this amazing neighbor across the street. He's a retired electrician. Him and his wife are like family to us. And, you know, I was really excited about the car before I got it. And I told him everything about it and told him how much an electrician was going to charge me. Basically, to take that outlet and extend the wire through the attic down um, to the pillar. And then for supplies, it's a 10 gauge copper wire because we use the 30 amp. So what I did was we basically just um, disconnected that outlet behind the dryer and took that wire and then we added some more 10 gauge wire to it and extended it up through the attic, up across the garage, and then to the front of the garage right here, which I'll show you guys. So that is the wall outlet that I use. It's all weather. So I think the wire is like $3 per foot. So um, that's probably like, I don't know, 30 feet of wire right there. And then the actual outlet was six bucks and then the cover was probably like eight or $10 or so. And that was it. I mean, it's pretty much it. We had all the other supplies caulking and all that stuff from other um, projects and everything. But basically, the first week that I had my car, all I had was the um, the normal, normal little um, outlet, you know, that you have all over your house, inside, outside, whatever. <sighs> that takes forever to charge. That is not enough for me. Um, most of my jobs that I go to are about 50 miles one way from my house. I'm an x-ray tech. I drive I don't know how many different surgery centers, 20, 25 places, and they're all on average 50 miles one way from my house. So it takes days to charge your car on 110 or 120 volt. Like it's, it's not doable for me because I drive so much. If your commute is like 15 miles, maybe that could be doable for you, but for me, no. Thankfully, I, I got this in a week later, the 240. Um, and that's so much faster. When you take delivery of your Tesla, it's gonna come with a 20 foot um, charging cable, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And it will come with a 515 adapter, which is for 110 to 120 volts um, on a uh, 15 amp breaker. And that, um, that charges three miles per hour charge. So for every hour that you charge your car, it's only gonna be able to drive three miles. That's, it's actually two to three miles average, it says on the Tesla website. That's not enough, not enough for me. So, um, but that's what your car is gonna come with. The other adapters, you will have to purchase separately on the Tesla website. You will wanna purchase these adapters before you take delivery of your Tesla because they are often out of stock. They get back in stock within one to two weeks, but, you know, that, that once two weeks might screw you if you got to get to work and this is your only car or something like that. So buy those adapters as soon as possible. They're $35 a piece. I mean, just buy them. Anyway, enough about that. So with the one it comes with, that's three miles per hour charge. For the 1030 that I have, which is um, 240 volts on a 30 amp breaker, 
that charges at about 22 miles of drive time per hour charge. And then if you get the NEMA 1450 adapter, which is 240 volts on a 50 amp breaker, then that will be 30 miles of drive per one hour charge. And so let me, um, let me get out and show you guys. So I'm gonna unplug this for a second. So this piece right here, this actual outlet was $6 at um, Home Depot. This is a NEMA 1030. And this is for a 30 amp breaker, which is what I have. This adapter, it's the 1030 adapter. Um, this was $35 on the Tesla website. And I have three different ones. The car will actually come with a, I think 515 adapter and this cable. It does not come with this. You're gonna have to buy this little piece separate for whichever kind of outlet you have. But it will come with this that is a 110 to 120 volts adapter with the car. Anything above that, you'll have to purchase separately, so. Okay, so we are waiting for the green light here. When it's white, you can plug it in or unplug. Blue, it's waiting. Green, it's good to go and it is charging. So that's what it looks like with my outlet. Um, and then this is what it's gonna look like in the car. So I have my battery set to charge up to 90% battery daily. That's what you want for a healthy battery. You don't wanna charge to 100% every day. So this is where I have it set at 90%. So it's gonna stop charging when it gets to 90. Right now we're at 68% battery and it's gonna take two hours and five minutes to get back up to 90%. So if we average that out, we'll say for 20% battery, basically 70 to 90%, it takes about two hours. Supercharging, um, you know, it'll tell you how much it would cost at a supercharger. It's more money at a supercharger because it's more volts. It's gonna charge way faster. Well, we're talking like way, way faster, like an hour for like a full charge. And here it takes like 11 hours for a full charge from zero to 100. So at superchargers, you're basically paying for the time. You're not having to waste so much time charging. And if you use your referral codes and, you know, use someone else's referral um, link when you buy your car, you get a thousand free supercharge miles for a year. Um, and then once you purchase a vehicle, they'll give you your own referral link that you can give to other people. And then if someone else purchases a Tesla and uses your referral link, then you get another thousand miles. They get a thousand, you get a thousand. So thankfully, um, one, I was able to use someone's referral link when I bought mine, so I got a thousand. And then recently, one of my totally awesome followers, you know who you are, he used my referral code and got me another thousand free miles. So I actually have 2000 miles <laughs> of supercharging to burn right now before um, October of next year. So how often do I actually use those superchargers? So I live in, um, I live in Texas around Houston area. And so around Houston, there's six superchargers within an hour, two hour radius. There's tons of superchargers all over the place, but around my area, that's how many I have, six. Now, my daily drive is 100 miles a day average, five days a week. I never, ever, ever use a supercharger for that kind of stuff. I literally charge my car at night while I'm sleeping, have it set to 90% battery. It's at 90 when I wake up in the morning, I leave, go to work, come home. I've driven 100, 110 miles. And then I just plug my car back in when I get home. I have only charged a supercharger three times since I've had my car two, two and a half months um, and I've only used a supercharger three times. It was important to me that the standard range plus one, I mean, I don't want to take time out of my day to go charge a supercharger every day. I don't want to deal with that at 5.30 p.m. in rush hour traffic every day like that. I do not want to add that. Um, I only charge at home. That's it. I don't go to the gas station. I don't go to superchargers. I don't charge anywhere else. 
on the weekend. Um, I charge at the mall if I go. Of course, you know, with quarantine and everything, we're not really going to the mall much, but, but that's super nice because all the EV charging slots at the mall, I think there's, there's about four to eight at each mall that I've been to around here. And they're always in the very front of the parking lot, like the very front parking spot. I get um, up front parking now at the mall. It's a two hour limit at the mall, but um, honestly, like there's never anybody parked in them. I've started seeing more EVs now, but I've never seen all of the slots full. So honestly, you could, since there's not people waiting to use those charging stations, like you could go shop for two hours and then come back out. There's plenty of spots available. So then just go move your car to another one and plug in for another two hours. So you can sit there and charge, you know, while you're shopping all day. Um, as long as you're not being still, I mean, there's no people waiting. I'm not talking about do this if there's like other people trying to get into the spots, but, but it's, it's so nice. I mean, on the weekend, I don't even pay to charge my car at home. Like I just charge for free when I go out places. So let's get into how much this is actually costing me. This is the September edition 2020 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. This is about a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack that's in this car. Here in Texas, on average, the electricity is 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So because my car is 50 kilowatts and I'm paying 11 cents per kilowatt hour with my electric company, basically charging my car from zero to 100% cost me about $5.50. And for the range on this battery, on the sticker, it said 250 miles for a full range um, from zero you know, to 100%. That's how far I can drive, 250 miles. So basically for 250 miles of driving, with me charging only at home, I'm paying $5.50 on average for basically a full tank. I drive 50 miles to work on average, 50 miles back home, so that's 100 miles per day. So at 500 miles per week for me, that's 2,000 miles a month that I'm driving with this car. 2,000 miles per month divided by 250, you know, miles in each tank, really, or in each full battery. I am basically filling up eight times a month. So eight battery packs or eight full gas tanks, basically. Um, for me to drive 2,000 miles a month, that's costing me $44 a month in electricity. So essentially $44 a month to drive this amazing freaking sports luxury car versus, you know, gas in a car. I don't even know how much that was costing me a lot, especially in the truck. Like it was costing me like $46 to fill up every other day. Like it was ridiculous. I, it's it's crazy how cheap this car is to drive. You're almost paying nothing to drive these cars. There's no oil change. There's, I mean, I don't even use the brakes when I drive. I just use the regenerative braking, which is so nice to me. It's it's freaking amazing. I don't I don't think it's necessary to get um, one of the Tesla wall adapters where it's like looks really cool. It's all glass and says Tesla on it. Those are like five hundred dollars a piece. The last time I looked, anyway, and it's basically the same exact thing that I have. It's the same thing. You can have, um, you know, this wall connector here for, you know, six bucks for the outlet and then $8 for the cover. Or you can pay $500 and just have the one that says Tesla. Like, why am I going to pay $500 versus, what is that? $14? $500 versus $14 for the same all weather wall outlet like no uh, I, I don't think it's necessary to get those you can just get one of these you know get the electrical work done you never have to charge anywhere else I don't charge at superchargers I only charge at home it's great I'm freaking in love with it I could go on forever I'm sorry I'm so tired you guys I worked well over 40 hours this week and um I know I know everybody works 40 hours but like it's a little different at my job. Like it's, it's a little, it's exhausting. I'm so tired. Uh, I gotta wake up tomorrow morning and do it all over again. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was helpful to you and you understand a little bit now about, you know, the difference between the kilowatt hours and, you know, gasoline and, you know, miles per gallon and all that.
If you guys have any questions or comments, please comment below or feel free to message me directly on um, Twitter or Instagram and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I have some awesome videos coming up pretty soon. Um, I got some LED lights to put around the car, some puddle lights, trunk lights, so I'm gonna be installing those soon. So I'll show you guys how to do that and how awesome they look and everything, we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll save the surprise for what they look like when we get them, but they look so awesome. So if you guys like this video, please like it. If you wanna see more videos, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.